It's not always easy to let go of your past. Some people get over it quickly, while others find themselves haunted. Did you know that your zodiac sign can influence you in this matter as well? In this video, we're going to have five zodiac signs that may be haunted by their past. Starting off the list, we have a zodiac sign that is known for being slightly clingy. Number one, Cancer. First of all, Cancers are really adorable people. They love to take care of their loved ones and are usually very protective towards their lovers, friends, and family members. Unfortunately, all of that love and affection comes with one side effect, clinginess. Cancers can be extremely possessive and clingy. They find it hard to let go of their near and dear ones. Another important thing to remember with this sign is their inability to get over incidents. Cancers are deeply emotional, so when they go through some emotional trauma, it takes a while for them to process it. A cancer person will find it rather hard to move on from breakups, past relationships, or the death of a friend, lover, or family member. That's just how they are. For them to accept that they've lost someone who's close to them is very hard. In many cases, cancers have been known to consult therapists to deal with their losses. This sign also hates being alone and is known for having a dark side. Sadness often acts as a catalyst to their darkness and is why they need to be handled carefully and sensitively. This kind of makes sense when you think about the creature that symbolizes them, the crab. Crabs are not known to let go of things very easily. Number two, Capricorn. We know what you're thinking. Isn't Capricorn the opposite of Cancer? Yes, they are, but they have quite a few things in common. You see, opposite signs are not the antithesis of each other. They're just two zodiac signs. They may have some similarities and some differences, located opposite to each other on the zodiac wheel. Capricorns have a few things in common with Cancer. This includes tenacity and the fact that both of these signs are compatible with Taurus and Scorpio, which, by the way, are opposite of each other as well. Coming back to the point, Capricorns may be hardworking and pragmatic but they also hold on to past successes. These goats may have a tendency of becoming egotistical. This affects them in many ways and prevents them from forming and pursuing further goals. They also have a pessimistic side, which causes them to become very depressed when it kicks. Probably the worst thing is they start believing that they'd never be able to repeat the success. They start thinking to themselves as one-time wonders, and this lowers their confidence drastically. What's more sad? Capricorns are not really the best zodiac sign when it comes to dealing with emotions. So when they get depressed, it's going to stay with them for a very long time. Anyway, moving on to the next zodiac sign. Number 3. Scorpio Scorpios are intense and passionate individuals. Emotions come deep for this sign, and it often comes out in a rather dark way. Scorpios are known for holding on to grudges. They can be very vindictive and volatile. Just like Capricorns, people born under this sign are very ambitious, and this also comes out when they're looking for revenge. Usually, they're not really nice people. In fact, if treated nicely, then there's no one quite generous and big-hearted as a Scorpio. The problem occurs when these folks are not treated right. They become bitter and resentful. While they may not show it, they may still sting you in the form of sarcastic comments. Oh, Scorpios are pretty much on the level of Gemini when it comes to sarcasm. Although you may not be aware of this side as they only reserve it for people they don't like. This zodiac is a walking contradiction and this often reflects in their nature. When nice, a Scorpio can be like an angel, but when mistreated, they can be really vicious. As tough as they like to project themselves, they can be hurt easily. A Scorpio will always remember you've hurt them. 
Just like the hard part of letting go comes in different forms and shapes for different zodiac signs, for Scorpio, it comes out in the form of their wrath. This sign always remembers, and it never forgives. Now, you might be thinking, whoa, this is dark. Well, there is an irony to it. You see, because of Scorpio's driven nature, they must always get what they want. They're willing to work hard or even manipulate people to get what they want. So when they want revenge, they go all in and end up spending a lot of time, energy, and resources on it. This is the same thing they could have done to achieve their goals. This is the reason why a lot of Scorpios don't end up becoming successful. Revenge doesn't help anyone. On another note, Scorpios are also prone to depression. Death of a friend or family member, a breakup, or a fight with someone that they care about can often take them down a trail of depression. Because they're not really expressive, it means this depression will affect them from the inside. Meanwhile, they'll continue to live in denial. Yes, they're capable of stinging themselves as hard as they sting others. Number 4. Taurus Admit it, you knew this sign would be here. After all, this is the sign that believes in all or nothing. Taurus people are a determined bunch, which means once they set their eyes on something, they won't stop until they achieve it. The downside of this great quality is the fact that they can be very stubborn, and like Scorpios, they can hold grudges. That's right, the bull can be very nasty at times. Another interesting thing about both these zodiac signs is that they're both fixed signs. As such, they find it hard to let go. In case you didn't know, we did do a video on four fixed signs of the zodiac. We'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. Anyway, focusing back on Taurus. Like other fixed signs, Taurus resists change. In fact, they do it more than other fixed signs. This is why they find it hard to let go. If you've ever been in a relationship with a Taurus, you know these folks keep calling, even after the breakup. In arguments, Taurus people are known to bring up something that you may have said on May 2006, just to prove a point. On top of that, failure affects them in a negative way. Taurus people appear strong on the outside, but on the inside, they can be quite vulnerable. Little incidents like a small fight with their friends can break them. No, they aren't attention seekers. They just love attention from people they like. This is why this sign loves its home and its family. Oh, and by the way, just like Cancer, Taurus are not good with loneliness. Who would have thought that the nasty bull would be such a softie? Speaking of softies, here's a surprising one on the list. Number 5. Libra I bet you didn't see this coming. Libra is considered a peacemaker, a diplomat, and is known for being very rational. There's not a fight that a Libra can't stop, and not a deal that it can't crack you'll barely see or hear about people who don't like this sign. They're very social and know exactly what to say and to whom. This is why a Libra is never short on friends. They're also quite charming and have a positive outlook towards life. The problem with Libras is that they hold on to their past relationships way too much. Libras don't really accept breakups. They find it hard to let go of relationships. This is why they may still keep talking to their ex after years or still have feelings for them. These folks find it hard to fall out of love and move on in life. Additionally, their indecisive nature leads them to toxic relationships. This is why Libras often end up alone in their lives. Even though they're surrounded by friends and family, love is often a distant fantasy and they have no idea how it'll turn into a reality. It's okay, Libra. We all have problems and you'll find a way through yours as well. So, which zodiac sign are you? Are you among these five zodiac signs? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.
Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.